Oh, Sawa there looks a bit like Hideo Kojima, doesn't he? It's I, Hideo Kojima. Yeah, let's play as Tama, why not? Only something wholesome and positive can happen here. See, the music agrees with me. It's so hot. It's so hot in this thing. Way, way too hot. I feel like I'm sitting in a sauna. Everyone else on the street looks nice and cool. But here I am, getting treated to my very own personal midsummer heat wave. On top of that, I can barely see, I can barely breathe for that matter. But hey, what can I do? Phew. Pant, pant, huff, huff, pant, pant. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Some iced tea would be amazing right now. I'm gonna pass out from dehydration this way. May as well admit it, I underestimated how tough this would be. Who knew wearing a mascot costume would be so uncomfortable? Well, I did. So. <laughs> Delicate young lady like myself has no business doing this sort of job. I suddenly have so much respect for the people on, on those superhero team shows. Like, can you imagine doing action scenes or something like this? Heck, all I'm doing is standing here and I'm this close to calling it quits. But I can't. I need the work. I need the money. There's no time to be worse. I give up on this. What else can I? What else am I possibly going to do? What the hell? Burning hammer. Interesting. Um. Check out the revolutionary new diet drink, Burning Hammer. I thrust a free sample towards passerby as well, shouting as loud as I can. Yeah, free portion. Blah blah blah. Industries and shops also include free samples of purchased products. Please note that simply taking the product without paying for it in order to test it is <laughs> testing it out is theft. Don't do it. <laughs> Come on and give it a try. Oh, so you people just walk by one after another, they avoid looking at the sample. It's been like this ever since I started standing here. What gives? You'd figure at least one person would obtain the bottle by now. I mean, it's free! But I haven't managed to give away a single one! This keeps up, there's no way I'm getting paid. Then this whole miserable experience would have all been for nothing. <laughs> if Crunchy comes back, he, he's gonna be really fucking confused, isn't he? <laughs> If Crunchy comes back, he's going to be really confused if he sees this random mascot character here. <laughs> Just drink this and watch the pounds melt away. No exercising or dieting necessary. I can hear the desperation in my own voice. Just burn, burn, burn! Burn those pounds away! They're giving me cold looks now. They probably think I'm some shyster trying to offload dodgy product. <laughs> It's that simple, that simple, folks. You just drink the weight away. I guarantee it. Heck, this whole thing reeks of a scam. <laughs> there was extreme dubious or suspicious. The word scam referring to dishonest. Uh, da, da, da. Scan of some steeds and claim levels. Sound more like she's becoming a snake oil salesman. salesman. And the way just by drinking some concoction is way too good to be true. Yeah. Unless it gives you the shits, in which case, yes, you'll lose weight, but not in a healthy way. But still, free is free. You think I'd be able to give one or two away? It's not like I'm not trying. Okay, pep talk time. You can do this. Think about the money. Just start with one bottle. Alright. I'm gonna give this bottle away to the next person I see, no matter what. Those are my eyes, gather my determination. I just need to get started, and the moment will build from there. 
All right, eyes open. There are two people walking in my direction. Wait, two? Oh no, which one do I pick? I keep waffling, they're both going to pass him by. Just need to hand this bottle off. Which one of these guys looks more likely to take it? <coughs> Clutching the free sample in my furry fist. Uh, I'm going to give it to the disheveled fellow who I recognise to be the detective. I'm trying to force it, the disheveled fellow onto my right. To my surprise, he takes it. Huh? What's this? Yeah, that's the nightmare <laughs> ball. I flap my fuzzy arms and strike a cute pose as I launch into the blood pitch. It's Burning Hammer, the number one new diet drink. Please give it a try. No oh, thanks, the man says. I'm good. I keep my arms held wide and pretend I didn't hear that. Look, he says, I'm in a hurry. You should give this to someone else. He tries to hand me a sample back, but I hold my ground. In a really cute way. A few moments we are silent in pass. Maybe he's weirded out by my cat alter ego holding his its freeze frame pose. Just eventually he looks away, slips the bottle into his pocket and walks off. <laughs> that that is that is a that is a scene. <laughs> I mean look at look at that <laughs> Oh, oh, Crunchy, you're missing so much now. It's <laughs> still frozen. I did it. I finally got someone to take one. Oh, there's still so many samples left. My beef surge of excitement dies before it can finally take hold. I wonder how many other mascots are doing that now. The sales is doing happening today at two o'clock at Nokami Building. Huh? This is a chicken that's handing out all kinds of samples. I don't get it. How come nobody is taking mine? What could I possibly be doing wrong? Well, it's time to learn. I know the clock is a little after eleven. My morning of wandering around hawking diet drinks is about to be over. I'll need to get ready to head over to the sales demo. I'd love to take the costume off, but then I'd have to carry it. The samples I hadn't given out are almost too heavy as it is. Oh well, I might not have gotten the results, but I try my best. I sure hope they don't withhold my pay or anything. Hey, what gives? You got that many left? Ah! The chicken speaks with a few more voice. <laughs> yeah, I reply sheepishly. Nobody seems to want to take mine. Well, I mean, are you looking for the right targets? Huh? Like groups of girls or bored looking older ladies. Those are the types you've got to be going for, you know? Wow, I hadn't even considered that. Now that she says it seems so obvious. This is a diet drink after all. Of course, I'm not going to have any luck trying to force it off on random guys. Well, whatever, she says. Here, give me the samples you got left. And the samples and chicken dumps the whole lot in a basket. I'll drink whatever's left so they don't find out you didn't pass them out. He says, huh? Wait, like all of them? Yeah, all of them. The chicken sounds pretty confident in herself. <laughs> I never thought I would read that. I, would, I, would, I never thought I'd read something that says, The chicken sounds pretty confident in herself. <laughs> These may just be sample sized bottles, but still, they add up to a lot. I can feel myself on the brink of tears at the kindness of her offer. Thank you so much, it's a huge help. I bow deeply, which makes my mascot head wobble. <laughs> Leaving the station behind, we head down the centre guy towards No Kenny Building. 4010 Office Building. In addition to hosting the weight loss drink sales demo, the building is also home to the foreign capital protection firm, Japan Cellcom. The IT ministry. Oh, okay. The video game developer, Shinny Tradeco. And Strike Back Labs. They sound familiar. Science Strikes Back, along with many other businesses. Okay. The Burning Hammer sales demo is going to be held there this afternoon. <coughs> this afternoon. 
You're supposed to pay 10,000 yen for the day, but if you can sell at least 100 bottles of the demo, they've promised another 10,000 on top of that. I need to make sure I sell those 100 bottles. I need a 20,000 yen, I need it ASAP. <laughs> the art for Burning Hammer looks just fucking weird. I mean, look at her face. Look at her face. The nose and the eyes are off center. Run down when we turn off this building. In the room where the Burning Hammer sells, the room is taking place. There are already about 50 seats set out. I wonder how many people the few samples pull in. The stage has been set up at the far end of the room. That's where I'm going to be standing, sipping Burning Hammer while explaining its effects to the customers. Oh, we have to take that thing off. She can flap her wings as she speaks. It's kind of early, but come on, let's have lunch. I'm starving! Now that she mentions it, I realise I'm pretty hungry myself. Dinner has not started for another two hours. I can't win a war against my stomach for that long. Jalen and I head to the waiting room where they've set out our lunches for us. Mind you in my back real quick? Jalen asks. Judges it back towards me. <laughs> Apparently she can't reach her own zipper. <laughs> Caption this, someone. <laughs> Oh sure, just give me a sec. I'm trying to set the chicken suit, but my own suit's thick, fuzzy fingers have a hard time with it. What's all? Come on, i this thing. Come get off of me. I almost got it. It's just awkward with these mitts. Finally, get the whole zipper and yank it downward. <laughs> no, the chicken's dead! A girl mentions the chicken, the chicken were an egg. Phew! I'm alive! A red sweatshirt is drenched in sweat. Almost at once, she is kicking back and cooling off with a hand fan. So, would you mind getting mine too, I ask? Yeah, okay. And now the cat has been decapitated. Okay, at all last I'm able to free this five ton fursuit. Hmm, huh? Go away, it was awkward. Really? Oh, what? So, of anxiety hits me. What's wrong, I ask? Yeah, that's a no-go. The zipper's busted. What? Yeah, sorry, this thing ain't coming off. No! <laughs> My vision goes dark. No, no, no! Take this into the costume, but no luck, I'm trapped inside. Oh, what the crap! <laughs> ah, well, we can talk to the boss about it when he gets back. I mean, it's not like we can just cut it. Cut it off you with scissors or anything. She sounds entirely unconcerned. It's so unfair. I need to get out of this stuffy, sweltering steam bath as soon as possible. All I can do is clench my fist in impotent rage. Impotent rage! But anyway, good work out there today. <laughs> the girl continues. I'm Chiriko Sugi, by the way. You can just call me Ch Chewy. Smart, she introduces herself. I mean, I am a pretty cheery gal, after all. She bursts into a hearty guffle. Yeah. Oh, sure, I say. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, for sure. So, I guess you're not going to be able to eat lunch with that gaff, huh? Huh? Gah, that's right. What should I do? Don't swear. Just leave it to me. Huh? I'll eat both lunches myself. <laughs> Wow, thank you, that's really helpful. You'll eat both of the lunches. Yeah, that was my real concern. <laughs> it doesn't even wait for me to reply before she's reaching for my lunch. <laughs> It'd be a shame to let it go to waste. <laughs> Yes, I'm left it. If it is a big concern, then my hunger. I can feel my appetite stir all the more as she devours my meal and a satisfied grin on her face. I think but there's a gurgle that raises from my belly. It's just a cheap little prepackaged box lunch, but right now it looks like a feast. So what's your name? Julie asks. The cheeks are still packed with rice. My name? Yeah. Oh, it's uh 
and I struggle to think of an answer. My eyes alight on a piece of tamagoyaki clutched between her chopsticks. There's that of lightly grilled egg wobbles to and fro. I can see the inside from the way it's been sliced. It looks somewhat undercooked. Come on, what's your name? Um, oh, right, uh, Tama. It's Tama. Oh, you mean the famous cat? Well, ain't that thing? And Chul stuffs a piece of turn in her mouth and then takes a big swig of iced tea. I am beyond jealous. I wish I could gorge myself on the lunchboxes until I'm full to bursting. Heck, even a cool gla gold glass of iced tea would be a lifesaver now. I'm so thirsty, I'm starting to get all dizzy. Maybe I really am getting dehydrated. Probably, to be honest, in a suit like that. This isn't good. If I don't do something, I'm going to pass out before the sales demand starts. And then I remember something. The zipper down my back might be busted, but I can still take the head off, right? That way, I'd at least be able to eat and drink stuff. Alright. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we might have... How we pull my head off? I pull my... Ow! I feel a dull thorn in the back of my head. I bump my head somewhere, but I don't remember doing that recently. In fact, I'm curious, look. What are you doing? I thought maybe I could at least get the head off. That ain't gonna work. That thing's attached to the body. Oh! I slept forward in defeat, face planting on the tabletop. No! Most folks would have noticed when they put it on, you know. Well, I didn't! The boss helped me get into this thing. Hmm, well, I don't know to get you down, Jesus. Here, drink some of this. Pulls a bottle with a straw from the bag and pour some of the tea into it. There we go. Fever of thirst, I jam the plastic straw through the mascot costume's mouth. Thankfully, it reaches as far as my own. I suck for all I'm worth. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Actually, since nobody's using the chat things at the moment, I'll do it. <laughs> I suck for all I'm worth. <laughs> I suck and I suck and I suck. <laughs> I rejoice that the moisture returns to it like rain coming from coming to the desert. And thus I revive. Actually, it kind of does feel like I'm coming back to life. Oh, thank you so much. I'm never going to forget as long as I live. Tears running up my eyes, I clutch to his hand with my fuzzy mitts. Oh, hey, I'm not that kind of person to abandon someone in need, you know? She replies. Barris grin crosses her face. How come you're carrying this bottle with you anyway, I ask? Oh, that's because I make my own protein juice. Oh, yeah, 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 powdered, powdered drink. Protein juice? Never heard of it. I know that if you have protein juice for one of your three meals a day, you'll lose weight. Yeah, I don't think so. So yeah, I kind of need to keep it. In a cheery sort of, well, chubby frame, I don't think the protein's been working so great for her. Ooh, that's... Uh, that is a mean... <laughs> I've been trying all sorts of stuff, but right now... Protein is totally the best for my diet. This stuff, though, Jerry casts her eyes at a sample of burning ham on the table. It's like totally bogus. Well, duh. Huh? Bogus? That's a surprise. Oh, yeah. You've got to exercise if you want to burn body fat. Yeah, I know. You have to burn body fat by doing anaerobic exercise. She smacks herself with one flabby arm. I mean, there's no way you're going to lose weight by taking in more calories. Huh, didn't you just say that she was drinking protein to lose weight? I keep that thought to myself. I mean, that'd be ridiculous as all you can eat Kobe beef, she added. She shakes her head seriously. I'm not sure about using all you can eat anything as an example in a discussion about weight loss. But again, I keep that thought to myself. But hey, a job's a job, Chewie says after <laughs> perking up again. 
They tell me to sell this junk, I'll sell it. Sudden wedding comes on the other side of the door. Oh shit. Ghosts! We got ghosts, people! Please, just give me time! I swear I'll get it back to you! What the heck? Juices? Is that the boss? I not. That's definitely Mr. Yagishita's voice. He's the guy hiding me. Sliding up alongside Cherry, I very quietly open the door and take a peek inside. Bad idea. Whoa! No, 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 no. Some very, very dodgy looking uh, Yakuza are waiting outside. As young Yashita is down on his hands and knees, begging while two uncouth looking men glower at him. Just a little more time, that's all I ask, he pleads. Once I sell this stuff, I can pay you back. I see a tiny bottle of burning hammer in his hand. Just a little more, maybe some middle aged foe. I just gotta sell this. We've heard enough of that out of ya. Yeah, the young guy sneers. We ain't giving you any more time, so quit asking. But I really need a little longer this time. Please, you gotta believe me. <laughs> Look at this image. <laughs> oh, the image is dealing with some loan sharks. Yeah, yeah, loan sharks. I know what loan sharks are. Same word gave the the term pool shark and card shark. In the case of loan sharks, though, the initial mental image was quite quite pure. Yeah, true. The two thugs are clearly in no mood for his continued groveling. Cherry and I exchange a glance. It's probably best if we don't go out there right now. I totally agree. It's best that you do not interfere with this situation. But now I'm really worried. Am I actually going to get paid for this gig? <laughs> Oh no! Japanese Bob Ross has been kidnapped! <laughs> As I pointed that one of the men grabs the engine by the nape of the neck and drags him by his feet. Come with us, pal. We'll take you someplace you can, uh, work off your debts. <laughs> Say what? Yeah, it's your way. It was a two men drag him anyway. <laughs> Japanese Bob Ross was never seen again. <laughs> huh? Guess they're gone. Julia says. She's already starting to pack up her things. Wait, what are you doing? I ask. Going home. Not much point in sticking around. Going home? I mean, the, the demo sure ain't happening now. Anyhow, it was nice working with you. See ya. I say, Julia's out the door. Oh. Now, what do I do? Hmm. I've been left here all by myself. More or less, at a total loss. Oh, Shift's over. Our poor Fiona Fen isn't going to get paid now that those tech collectors showed up and dragged her boss. If a certain someone hadn't told the thugs how to get to the Nokani building, they probably wouldn't have caught Young Gishita. The right decision happens at 11.15, but who has to make it? I don't know, I just wanted to show Blaze's character because she seemed cute. 